is your question. All right, so if you've read and understood, considering it surgical anatomy station, kindly please tell me what exactly are you looking at? What? So this is a image of cut section of the scalp from the okay. inner surface. About, yes. All right. Can you tell me in how many fossae is it divided and how? Okay, we have three. It's anterior uh, <clears throat> canal fossa, middle canal fossa, posterior canal fossa. Yes. What is the purpose of dividing it into three cranial fossae? So it has three uh, different uh, fossa for different different part of the brain. All right. Can you tell me the boundaries of the posterior cranial fossa, please? Okay. So it's anteriorly with uh, clevis and petrous part of the temporal bone, and yes. posteriorly with the occipital bone, inferiorly yes. foramen magnum. And yep. laterally with the squamous part of the temporal bone. And superiorly? Superiorly will be... Tentor. Tentorium cerebelli. And inferiorly? Inferiorly foramen magnum. Yes. Uh, what is number 11, please? Foramen magnum. Please tell me the contents of number 11. So it will and contain again. anterior posterior spinal arteries, uh, right and left vertebral arteries, and lower end of the pons and uh, spinal accessory nerve and lower um, end of medulla oblongata apical lower, end of yes, dense lower end and of... membranes tectorial membranes tectorial membranes yes. all right good would you be able to identify jugular foramen for me jugular foramen is number 30 Yes, very good. Can you please quickly tell me the contents of jugular foramen? So, is internal jugular vein, later, uh, lesser, I mean, uh, inferior petrosal sinus, and uh, jugular uh, glossopharyngeal nerve, vagus nerve, and uh, accessory, accessory nerve. Oh. Okay, accessory nerve, and um, something else you've missed. Okay, or I've... All right, we'll come back to that later. Mm -hmm. Can you please identify number 12 over here? Is the foramen ovale? All right, please tell me the contents of foramen ovale. So it's a mandibular division of the trisaminal nerve, yes. uh, initially vein, uh, yes. then accessory uh, meningeal artery. Yes. And lesser uh, auricular nerve. Lesser superficial petrosal nerve and? Okay, that's about it. All right. Can you please tell me what is the contents of middle cranial fossa? It's temporal lobe. Temporal lobe. Okay, right and left temporal lobes. Yeah, right and left. Right. Mm -hmm. uh, if you can tell me, uh, right, if you can tell me, if you can identify trigeminal impression over here and tell me where exactly would that be? Okay, so it's number 44. It's for trigeminal impression. Yes. What exactly is it? is just top of that black line. Yes, yes. But what exactly is trigeminal impression? So it's trigeminal impression is for the trigeminal ganglia. Okay, good. Can you tell me, right, um, right, optic canal, would you be able to identify it for me? Uh, okay, it's number 34. Yes, very good. All right. What passes through it other than optic nerve? Uh, ophthalmic artery. Yes, and? 
three layers of and three layers of meninges yes good so never never to forget these small details okay all right yes. can you please identify foramen rotundum for me foramen rotundum uh, is number 13 okay what passes through it other than it passed the maxillary division of the uh, trigeminal nerve. Trigeminal nerve, good. All right. What I can ask you, because we are doing the fossey, can you please tell me, uh, right, what is terion? So terion is a combination of uh, spinoid, parietal, and temporal bone, uh, which is frontal, I mean, the middle meningeal. Frontal as well. Did you mention? And frontal bone, yes. And middle Four meningeal bones. artery is runs behind that area. All right. So that is the clinical significance of it. Right. So can you please tell me if a person suffers from carcinoma and uh, there are lesions on the skull and you happen to realize that these skull lesions are lytic in nature or origin. So can you tell me what are the carcinomas that can present as a lytic lesions of skull? So it can be a uh, lytic lesion from the secondary metastasis, like uh, prostate cancer. Okay. And some primary tumor, like multiple myeloma. Yes. And some other cause can be <clears throat> hemangioma and yes. osteomyelitis. Good. All right. Can you tell me what you understand by... Okay. Uh, there are certain other things. Did you... Uh, you identified... Yes, I have asked you all of them. Almost 37 is left. Can you identify number 37? Uh, 37, it seems it's stigmant tympani. Yes. Okay. Can you please tell me uh, what are the contents of the carotid canal? So carotid canal is internal carotid artery. And... No. All right. What is cavernous sinus? So cavernous sinus is the venous sinus is situated in the either side of the sila tarsica or either side of the pituitary gland. So which drain blood from uh, facial dangerous area and spinopalatine and sinus. Yes. And drains to? And drains to the uh, <clears throat> uh, intercavernous sinus and and superior inferior petrol. Superior inferior petrol sinus, yes. And internal jute vein. Okay, can you please tell me the blood supply of the brain quickly? So it has a, a form a circle of wheels uh, by middle cerebral artery, anterior cerebral artery, which is communicating by the anterior communicating artery. And then uh, it comes from the vertebrobasilar system, is posterior cerebral artery and posterior communicating artery. All right, can you please tell me how the... Uh, cerebrospinal fluid is formed? So this is formed from the arachnoid uh, villi, is an arachnoid uh, cell of the meninges and ventricles. So it's around, around through the subarachnoid space. Yes. So should I tell the circulation? Yes, please. Okay, ma'am. So it's from the third ventricle. It yes. goes to the foramen of... Uh, Monroe, then it goes to the uh, two lateral ventricle, and from lateral ventricle, it goes to the fourth ventricle through the aqueduct of Sylvia's, and then from there, it goes to the subarachnoid space and is uh, absorbed by the uh, arachnoid cells. Okay, one last question before Bell goes. Can you tell me what are the common benign tumors of the posterior, posterior cranial fossa? So it can be meningioma, uh, glioma. Uh, glioblastoma, yes. Yes. appendymoma. Yes, good. Thank you.